Welcome back to Solving Simultaneous Linear Equations. And this time we're going to utilize the second method here on this list, the substitution method. And what does that mean? Well, what that means is you're going to take one of your two equations and solve them for one, or two, one of the two variables. It doesn't matter which one. You can solve the first or second equation for x or y. Makes no difference. In this case, I'll just go ahead and take my first equation and solve that equation for x. That means I'm going to move the y to the other side, and so this becomes x equals uh, y plus 1. All right, same equation, different form, but notice now I have expressed x in terms of the other variable y. And then the second part of this methodology of solving this type of equation is that you then substitute for x what x is equal to, which in, in this case is the y plus 1, that then gets substituted back into the second equation. So for every x that you find in the second equation, you replace that x by what x is equal to in terms of y. Let's do that. So we have 2 times y plus 1 instead of x plus y equals 8. And notice what you've done now. Now you end up with just one equation with only one variable, and you can solve that equation for the variable y. That's called method of substitution. You substitute the variable of one equation into the other equation to eliminate that variable, and now you can go ahead and solve for the x and the y. All right, again, you have parentheses, you want to get rid of them, so you multiply the 2 times the y and the 1, that gives you 2y plus 2 plus y equals 8. Moving all the numbers to one side, leaving all the y's on the left side, that gives you 2y plus y equals 8 minus 2. Notice the 2 goes across, changes the sign, now let's combine like terms. So 2y plus y is 3y, 8 minus 2, that's 6. Now we can divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the y. And so you get y equals 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So now that means, looking for the point where the two lines cross, the y-coordinate is most likely going to be 2. Now what you do is you substitute that back into the original equation over here to solve for the variable x. Since you already have x in terms of y, and since now you know what y is equal to, you just go ahead and plug in that value for y into that first equation, solve for x. So this becomes x equals 2 plus 1, or x equals 3. And so now you have found the y co oh, I'm sorry, the x coordinate of my solution. Remember, wherever the two lines cross, the point has an x and a y value, and here's my x and my y value. So that means the solution is simply 3 comma 2. Now to make sure we did this correctly, let's go ahead and plug those values back into the second equation and see if that still works. So we're going to take our second equation here, we're just going to check. Second equation is 2x plus y equals 8, and if I plug in y equals 2 and x equals 3 into my equation, it should come out. Let's check. So 2 times x, x is 3, plus y, which is 2, that should equal 8. So this is 6 plus 2 equals 8, and that's indeed true, so it shows that I found the correct answer.